Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick rundown on another camera I received from Surveil Zone. And I did a review some time ago on one of these cameras before, and these are the $29 ones, and they're absolutely fantastic. This one's a little bit more pricey, uh, and what I'm going to do now is do a side-by-side -side comparison between these and, and, and see how they stack up. So as you can see, this one, which is the original one I did the review on, uh, it's got wide dynamic range, etc. It's um, 600 TVL as opposed to this one which is 800 TVL so it's got a bit more resolution uh, it's wide dynamic range etc so it's going to be interesting to see how this one stacks up against this one now they both of them come with 2.8 millimeter lenses so it means basically you don't need to purchase a wide angle lens for it uh, it's going to be pretty much ready to go for FPV so here we go these are the two cameras side by side this is the 800 TVL camera uh, the new one that I'm reviewing and this is the one that I've reviewed previously uh, the cameras pretty much look about the same. Uh, not much in the way that, I mean, the circuit board layout, etc., is different. But as far as footprint goes, they're pretty much uh, exactly the same. You've got your main control interface, which will allow you to adjust the uh, brightness and all the settings on the camera, put wide dynamic range on and off, etc. So pretty much they're the same. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to actually break this PCB board down to a smaller footprint what I will do is mount them in my, um, these little uh, trays I've got and have these two set up side by side and what I'll do is quickly go out and uh, take some footage with them and try to run pretty much the same thing so you get a true comparison. I've done some preliminary testing with this one. This is the 800. Now low light performance on this thing is insane, absolutely insane. So um, we'll do a rundown and we'll cut to the footage of both these cameras in action. So we're starting with really low light performance. This is just indoors um, with normal lights on. So you can see what the performance is like between the two cameras. And here it's actually even darker. One's gone to black and white. One can still produce color, color images. Um, it's really, really dark in this room. There's some light leaking in, but generally speaking, you can see how well the higher end camera, the 800 TVL camera is actually performing. Now, as far as rigs go, uh, this is the rig I'm using in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, it's basically the two cameras mounted side by side, and I've got them on my Manfrotto fluid head tripod. Uh, and I basically try to synchronize the clips as best as I could. Now, outdoors, uh, looking at the two cameras, you'll notice that the 800 TVL, even though it's running a 2.8 millimeter lens, the angle of view is slightly wider. I'm not sure why that is, but it's, it's a slightly wider angle of view, and that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, all in all, um, pretty happy with this camera. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good performing camera as far as in the varying lights, etc. And especially with FPV, as you get more and more into it, you'll find every little bit of gain you can make makes a phenomenal difference. Anyway, look, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video, and you guys can make up your own mind in terms of which one you want to go with. Thanks for watching, guys.